Hello and welcome to Gold Buzzer. In my last video, I said go for gold. And uh, I think that video has been pretty well received. I had some uh, interesting comment. Uh, one in particular from uh, Eyes Wide Open Nimrod. He said, also look at silver as it is 64 to 1 at the moment but its normal ratio is 17 to 1 so it must go up four times its current price before it gets to its true position relative to gold so then if gold goes up it will go up but basically gold or silver is a good buy I pretty much agree with that therefore I replied and said very good point I shall make a video about this too. So here it is. This is my video about gold-silver ratio. The gold-silver ratio indicates how many silver ounces you can get for one single ounce of gold. And uh, I have to say that I am pretty sure that the right historic gold-silver ratio is 15 to 1 and not 17 to 1. Which means, if we take today's gold price, which is around $1,200 per ounce, and we divide it by 15, this gives us $80. So, if the historic ratio was respected today, the silver price would be $80. But as you probably know, today's silver price is around $18 per ounce. So yes, if gold was to remain at $1,200 per ounce, the silver price will have to rise four times for the historic gold-silver ratio to be re-established. But I am pretty sure that the gold price will go much higher than $1,200 per ounce. Therefore, the potential for the silver price is much higher than $80 per ounce. How high do you think the silver price will go in a few years? $100 per ounce? $150 per ounce? $250 per ounce? $500 per ounce? $1,000 per ounce? Okay, okay, okay. Easy, easy now, yeah? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The topic of the day is not silver price forecasting. It is gold-silver ratio. So let's go back to it. As you can see on the chart, from uh, the 80s up to the 90s, we had a strong progression in the gold-silver ratio. Uh, the ratio went from, uh, let's say, 1617 up to 100. So you can see a very, very strong uptrend marked by the green lines on the chart. You can also notice from... Uh, the 90s till today that we've been in some kind of uh, trading range between 45 and 85 but most importantly if you look at the thick red lines you can see that since the 90s the gold silver ratio has been in a downtrend. So yes, the gold-silver ratio might certainly go back to its historic value of 15 to 1. 15 ounces of silver for one ounce of gold. I know that the wise thing to do for a precious metal investor would be to have a portfolio composed of 30% of silver and 70% of gold. 
but the reality is different. I know for a fact that most silver bugs are 50-50 and some silver bugs, I would call them the very, very big silver bugs, some of them are 90 to 95 percent invested in silver. So I've got a question for those very, very big silver bugs. When the historic gold-silver ratio is re-established, when we are back at 15 to 1, what will you do? Will you A, sell your silver and start investing in non precious metal assets? Will you B, sell your silver and replace it by gold? Or will you go for option C, not selling anything at all and keep holding your silver? Please post your responses below. Remember to rate this video. Thank you for watching. Talk to you very soon. Bye-bye now.